Okay, hi. Uh, today uh, we're going to, my name is Michael DeRosa. We're going to make a, a drawing using pastels uh, from the still life working with uh, sunflowers. And so we'll be drawing from those sunflowers. And again, we're going to be using pastels. So these are the materials. Basically, it's a chalk, colored chalk. And we'll be uh, making the drawing that way. Uh, so anyway, I hope you find this informational and enjoyable. And so here we go. And so just to start off with, we'll use what's called baseline structure lines. I'm using a piece of vine charcoal here. Then I am constantly looking at my subject matter, uh, which is the vase. And the structure lines are loose, non-committed lines used in making the drawing. And then, so we have stem coming out there. I have a couple stems coming up here. Uh, sunflower head in here. And then this would be predominantly the focal point. And we have some petals just kind of randomly coming off in here. And then there's another sunflower, which the uh, center part of it will be over here to the right. And then I have another one that's going to be up in here. And so this will be the focal point of the drawing. And then there's leaves down in here. And so <clears throat> as we work with color, some things I want you to think about is that uh, values are what really shape space, not color. Color has to follow suit with whatever the value, value tells you uh, the space is going to, uh, going, the, the values will dictate to the space what it's going to do, whether it's going to come forward or go back in space. And so, and then I'm going to have some flower petals up in here. Now, everything I do is made in direct response to looking. So I'm not just inventing anything or just kind of glancing and saying, oh, I think it's kind of like this. But as I draw, I'm continually looking at my marks, looking at my shapes I create through those marks, and continually correcting until uh, I get it to be right. And so that sunflower is pretty well established. Now we go to this other one. And so the flower petals come up in here. That flower will say is established for now. Uh, I got this up maybe just a hair high, the center of this flower. So I usually don't work with uh, pastels much, and so I'm usually a painter. I do lots of uh, airbrush painting, oil painting, uh, acrylic painting, watercolor painting some. 
and pat, I, when I draw, I usually just use charcoal. And a leaf coming in here. So anyway, pastels, uh, but basically color is color. Value, shape, space, like I said before. Uh, if the space is going to come forward and be darker, then that's called chiaroscuro. If the space is going to go back, the space goes back, and, or the space has illusion receding and it gets darker in value. That's so we're going to refer to that as reverse chiaroscuro. And so we're going to take a little bit of charcoal and start assigning some values to the space. And so that'll be the center for that flower. Notice the center is darker up at the top and here. And so we'll take this and just zoom in. And so where you can see that the real values and see how the top in there is a little bit darker. And then as it goes, as it's down towards the bottom, it's a little bit lighter. And so just wanted you to see what I'm seeing as I draw. And so, and with this one, and then this one in here as well. And so now we're going to come into the stem in here. the background in here a little bit of space a little bit of values to make that space I'm just laying in a, what the artist would call a ground, and so it's the ground of values. And nothing that I'm doing is really meant to be a finished part of the drawing, by any means. And so these values are, are uh, just to help kind of shape the atmosphere. And then I'm going to come back in with uh, a primary color of blue. And I'm going to lay that in with my uh, that dark value for my background. And the reason I use blue is that blue has the illusion of receding. And so I want the space to recede back in there. And so we'll come back in. And so we'll use a blue char pastel like this. Add that in a little bit. I'm still looking at the subject matter as I lay this in. And so I want this space to be dark and cool. Blue is cool out of your three and th three primary colors. And so we're just going to kind of lay that in for now. Come in and kind of blend that in a little bit and 
give that a dark value and a coolness to that space. And then I can, if I don't like the intensity of this blue, uh, I can always add some more charcoal back into it. That's the dark or the black of the charcoal is going to kill the intensity of the blue and uh, or I could add its complement, which would be a little bit of orange or brown neutral would probably do the same as far as taking away that intensity. over here and then I'll take some of this brown I'm going to start to lay in the base a little bit the terracotta color of the base remember I'm still thinking about values this white on the base that has the drips looks like the slip so I just kind of leave that for now and then the inside of the base is a little bit lighter in value See how that works? I just made the background darker in value than the base, and so it allows the base to come forward, and then uh, the background goes recedes in space. And then come in with a little bit of yellow for these uh, sunflowers. Kind of laying in some color in here, making up the leaves. And uh, some yellow over here. That well, looks pretty good. But at least a good start from my sunflowers. And then uh, I'm going to find a little bit of a light orange pastel. And then that'll help give me some of the color around in the And so this is for the, I see the flowers kind of in shadow, and then as they come off the center part of the flower, it's a little bit orange in there. And so actually, that's kind of fun. I've 
Well, I told you I don't work a lot with pastels by any means. Uh, but it's a very easy way to assign color and finding out. So it's quick and very easy that way. I, I do look, I'm enjoying that. And the same. Go around in here. So that looks kind of good for there. And And there, remember values what dictates the space though, not the color. And say yellow and orange. Yellow is your most intense out of your primary colors. Red as your middle. And orange is made from red and yellow combined. So I'm going to head and address some of the leaves in here. And so, yeah, kind of a light green in here uh, for the leaves are catching the light. I'll add them here quickly. Uh, And so how do you get green? Well, uh, blue and green, blue and yellow make green. And so now I have a little bit darker green. And wherever I see the shadows coming in, I'm going to go ahead and assign some of that. And so and that's making my leaves look a little bit more three-dimensional. And so I kind of leave that like that for now. And now we're going to come back in with some values and address some of the space. And here. So now I'm just using the tr vine charcoal again. And I'm just trying to tighten up some of my outside contours. And I'm still just looking out here and we got lots of splashes of color in here still. And so I'm just kind of squinting, knocking this out of focus a little bit. I'm looking for splashes of color where it might be coming through. So 
So I got some of this orange I used in the flowers, and I'll go ahead and put some of it in the base. I thought of I like what that did to my vase. It really helped define it. And so now we gave the vase a little bit more volume by putting some light in here. Give some of the tips of these flowers some light. And uh, the petals, I mean. And so uh, notice, notice that I didn't just make the petals of my flowers yellow and so that's kind of like a child's approach would be is just they look out there and see all the yellow Liking how this is going. And so we'll come back in with some more values. center of the flower needs a little bit of color. There's lots of yellow. Notice the green comes right up into the petals in here. Oh, leaves. And This blue is pretty bright. It's kind of a bright blue green. And so some of this is based on 
direct observation now, and some of it's based on the expression I'm getting from the color. And so I'm not doing everything based on exactly what I see at this point. Really enjoying the green color in here. Then a little bit of blending right on the paper. Carrying some of the blue and just trying to get some crispness around the, the flowers. It was a really powerful blue. I'm going to put some of that down in this space to help balance out all the strength of the blue up in here. Remember, blue is cool, and so it has the illusion of receding. Just a little bit of definition. Some of those flower petals.
kind of starting to really get somewhere. Towards the finished part of the drawing. And for the fun of it, I have this little bit of really bright color. And again, this is not based on what I see as much as expression. And this is where pastels can you can really start to have some fun with it. 